What's up guys, it's DarkRunner45 here and today we're coming to you guys with another video. Now today's video, I'll basically show you guys how to connect your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to your Forza Horizon game. This is basically showing you exactly how to connect it to your PC and then um, connect it to another software so you can actually play with your Pro Controller. Now this is pretty cool because if you don't have a PlayStation or an Xbox controller, you can definitely use this to basically play your games. The only downside is this this doesn't have a um variable triggers like how the xbox and playstation have we can um like a halfway hold it and stuff like that but that's the only downside of this trigger or yeah the trigger of the controller now i'm gonna show you that it works and that it's fully functional now if you look i can go through the menus let me go back and uh hold on go back you can hear the car and everything I have some issues if you disconnect and reconnect it will have some issues so let me just restart the software and I think that should pre prevent um, the issue with switch is having right now hold on let me stop the software stop start and then there we go now it's working On. So it's working now. So break, reverse gas, switch the cameras. And start button. And then select the button. Everything works. Every single thing. So, yeah. Orange. Yeah, let's go into the installation process of how to get this installed and working on your, your PC so you can play your Forza Horizon 5 with the Switch controller. Now, this is just the Bluetooth method. The wireless method is giving me some issues, but I will show you exactly how to do the same. Just go to steps. To the limit. Alright guys, so we're going to be showing you how to install PS4 Windows. Now, this is going to be a little bit different for you guys because I have already installed PS4 Windows on my PC, but I'm going to show you anyways how to do this. Now, you're going to go ahead and you're going to open up PS4 Windows. You're going to go up on the PS4 Updater and you're going to basically just launch it and install it. Now, there's one little thing. Now, when you install it, you're going to have to go to this side now when you open it up it's gonna ask it's gonna bring you to um, the controller driver setup and then this is what you will follow now this is basically shows you everything what you need to do you need to install the Ver virgin bus driver you install that you're gonna install the Windows 7 360 and 360 driver and then you're gonna go down and you're gonna go ahead and install the hide drive driver and then the fake input driver all those you will need to do to let this to work right i had some issues with mine it wouldn't have worked the first time but after doing it a couple of times it worked so yeah finish the install this and then you're good to go now with the switch controller you're gonna have to do one thing first before any of this works so after downloading everything on the ds4 side you need to go ahead and go to your Bluetooth settings. Now, before um, you do all that, make sure to hit this button here, which is the pairing mode button. You're gonna hold that and it's gonna start running. Let me just example show you. Let me unpair this on my PC. Um, give me a second, let me move this up a little bit. And then I will show you how I unpair it. So boom, I'm gonna go to settings. And then I'm gonna unpair my controller. Let's hope it doesn't mess up like before. So let it remove. Now, simple. I'm gonna go here, go to this 
option you hold it button down you can't press it with your fingernails or your finger grab something that has a point let's say for my case I have some a nail clip and you just press that button until it starts blinking when you look it starts to blink now that's the good part you know it's pairing then it's in parameter add device Bluetooth and then you're gonna hit pro controller now this is the tricky part now make sure this is stop blinking and it's on the set um, part if it is not set to the first one restart your computer I, I implore you restart your computer and then do this again if it still doesn't work try plugging it through the cable let it install some drivers and sometimes have some hiccups plug in the driver it should go ahead and work now this is once it's paired and you're good to go just close this out you're gonna open DS4 Windows then you're gonna go to the DS4 Windows once it's all installed it's just gonna come here once all the drivers are done um, it's gonna come up and show you that it's installed and it has your battery 50% it's connected Bluetooth and the same thing with the wired connection instead of connecting Bluetooth make sure you disconnect the Bluetooth and connect with the wired cable if you don't have a Bluetooth receiver because I have a Bluetooth receiver in my computer I can do this if you don't connect it with the wire just plug it in your computer and it should work seamlessly um, if you having the same issues like me just try restarting your computer um, maybe the cable having some issues and then that should be good everything should work afterwards with that and that's basically it and how to get it to work let me load up Forza and you just want to minimize this you don't want to you don't want to um, um, X close it off because it will stop and then the other thing if, if for instance your controller shuts off on you make sure to stop it and start it again once you reconnect your controller because it will kind of basically glitch the input so it will have either it's going left the camera will be going keep going left and it won't stop or some other weird thing so just do that to make sure to fix that so oh I just stopped it connect it back it's not working now I'm gonna minimize and then um, I'm going to minimize that and I'm gonna load Forza up Forza we're gonna show you that it works now and I'm not trying to scam you guys and think it's working Welcome back, Drake. So, we're back. We're going to show you that it works. Trigger. Trigger. Brake. Left. Turn. Right turn. That's it, guys. That is it. That concludes the video. If you guys like this one, hit the subscribe button. If you guys, if I actually helped you out in helping you to connect your pro controller to your game. But that's going to be it for today. Like, leave a, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.